Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a beautiful feeling. Crochet is going my way. <laughs> Good morning, good knit kisses, people out there. I'm so glad you joined me today. I am Kristen with Good Knit Kisses, and I'm so glad to see you guys. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you missed it, if you just joined in on live, I was just singing to the beginning. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the replay. Welcome to the live. If you're on replay, be sure and out say replay. Ask me your question. Oops, and I will try to get it to it later. And um, man, if I miss your question, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I get like a lot of responses and things. So anyway, I try. <laughs> Um, it's been uh, interesting. So, anybody ever want a do-over? I want a do-over. I want a do-over for last week's tutorial because I gotta tell you, I am in love with this stitch. I'm in love with using this softy chunky coloring here because this is going really well. I mean, like we remember this from last week, right? This is what this looks like in this softy chunky that has this color patterning. So, anyway, I'm so excited. Um, you guys <laughs> are amazing. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to say hello to my peeps. Hey, Katie Ann. Ooh, I a coupon code just come, came up on my text message. Joanne, March into savings. And I think it said 50% off. Anyway, it just went away. <laughs> uh, hey, Katie, Carol, Susan, Karen. Hi, Heather and Sandy and Ellie. And Chris and Brenda and Gala, good morning. And Kasid. All right, let's let's uh let's sing my let's sing my song again. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Crochet is going my way. <laughs> So this is coming up stripe looking, but I'm not actually doing it. It's the yarn. Don't you just love it? Whee! So, this is Softy Chunky. <laughs> this is um, Burnett. And it is the mm -hmm, color 29632 called Deep Waters. Isn't that nice? So nice. Just saying. And so, I'm doing my little quads in the loop that I was doing last week. And, oh man, Louisa, hey, good morning. My sister-in-law is jumping up. Um, <laughs> hey, she missed me singing. <laughs> um, so anyway, the color patterning is coming up tremendously. So I chained, and I, well, I started my chain kind of as it was transitioning from this sort of lichen-ish color and right here. And so it's about one, two, three, four, five, six chains six beginning chains before it starts with this darker color. And I guess that's what's caused the awesomeness. <laughs> so basically it's one stitch repeat um, plus one because this is a stitch repeat of five plus one. So if you work through one stitch repeat in the color um, and then it starts in the next color, then um, I'm guessing that's the thing for this. So um, anyway, kind of like the planned pooling. Maybe I'm, I'm maybe I'm uh, unplanned planning this cool stripey thing, which is really kind of neat. So whoops, I'm dropping things. Do y'all want to see how to do this? <laughs> uh, so glad you guys are joining me. We had a few people post their quads in the loop. I'm so excited about it. I don't always get to hit the share on everybody's. I actually kind of like to spread them out too. So if I don't get to yours today. Um, maybe tag me or something if I maybe if I missed it or something. Um, Gayla says woohoo coupons. Aggie says good morning from Dale Hart. Hey Crystal, good morning. Good morning Bridget. Um, <laughs> ah, I hit the button. Hey Brenda and Ada. Um, Robin, hi. Oh my goodness, y'all, Robin. Um, if you go look at the Good Knit Kisses page, I haven't shared it yet on purpose, Robin. I hope that's okay. Robin is awesome. Oh, I don't, where's my, my sample's not right in front of me. Mm. 
Um, she took on the loom when I converted over the sweater um, that's going to be using this yarn back here for um, that I took the needle pattern and converted over to loom. And then she was watching my tutorial and she made a hat on the loom with the thing. <laughs> and so she posted her results and I'm like, we need to work together and put this on the blog for everybody, right? Am I right? So we're going to be working on that. Um, uh, Joanne and I in the background are kind of working on uh, some things. And um, of course, we're, <laughs> we're kind of throwing that in the middle of some other things. And so it may take a little bit longer. But go go check out um, what she posted on the Good Night Kisses page. You have, to, you have to go to our page and hit like visitor posts or something like that to see everybody else. So anyhow... Um, do, 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 do. morning. Good morning. Um, I'm missing people. Hey, Lori. I see you jump. Are we doing quads in the loop today? Yeah, I can do it again. I mean, um, I was thinking I would show, but, um, I might not show the beginning chain and cha uh, the first row, but I'll do the, the repeating rows, which are basically the same thing. Um, you would love to see the hat. Um, I don't have the hat, but, um, I'm, I'm going to talk to Burnett and see if they'll send me some of this and maybe, um, Either we'll put it on my blog, or maybe we put it on your inspirations. I don't know. Um, yeah, it would be really cool. Really, really cool. <laughs> so, yeah, go on uh, after the broadcast. Don't do it now, because I'm on here, right? Um, the, um, uh, I, don't even talk, I don't even know. We'll probably call it the easygoing hat or something, because it matches the easygoing sweater, or an easygoing knit pullover. So, we would say the easygoing um, you know, knit hat or something or knit beanie. Um, Martha says, hello, I'm so happy. It may sound bad. Uh, I love her. Oh, my, your dog loves to watch me. <laughs> she thinks she is the boss. <laughs> hey, if she says to watch me, then go ahead. <laughs> here, let her give me kisses right here. <laughs> do you let her like your phone <laughs> or your computer <laughs> um, <laughs> good morning Shelly hey Gayla Gayla says she has two coupons from Joann's one to use one one expired thought it was okay oh no oh no yeah I've done that before too the expired coupons are trying to do something way too early and they're like this not till tomorrow and I'm like really really do you really want me to put this stuff up I can never let it go I can't I can't just be like, see you later, cart. I'm coming back tomorrow. Can't do it. It'd be nice if it was like a department store. We'd be like, can I play these places on hold for tomorrow? You know, they'd have to probably have to have a storage room for all that. <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> Not just me. <laughs> um, the picture, yeah, the picture of the hats under visible visitor post. Look for Robin. You'll see the hat. It's a really cute red hat. And she showed it. Um, the right side and she showed the wrong side, which is equally as cute. So you just flip it inside out. So you definitely have to weave in your tails if you want to wear that as a reversible hat, which is very reversible. It's a cool stitch on either side. Um, okay. Good morning, Beverly in Ontario. Uh, yeah, it'll make a great set. I think so too. Um, hey, Heather, good morning. Man, it's cold in here. Sorry I started a few minutes late, y'all. This is this new house. Today was the day that we had someone um come work on our um on our lawn, our landscaping. We had it's kind of getting overgrown. We're like, we need some help. So they came today. It was like running a little bit late. So anyway. <laughs> um, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so cold. I didn't realize how cold it was. Yeah, my fan's off. Um <laughs> It's like really breezy. I'm trying to find a, um, you know, if I fit in this pullover, I would put it on right now. I found out that this, oh, by the way, I found out that this, um, this pullover is a size small or extra small. Um, the, the one that they have worked up is a small. So I may try on my daughter to see how generous it is and give you measurements and kind of let you know. Um, but she said it is a generous one. So um, I know this is totally not the needle day, but we have many people who kind of repeatedly come. Um, but anyway, it's a generous sweater. So like if you are on the larger side like me and I'm like right at the end of a 3X, she's like, don't make the 4 or 5XL because you're going to be swimming in it. And so um, anyway, yeah, Robin's hat's adorable. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, put some yarn in my hands. I need some wool. Oh, look, I, I created a muff. 
that's like the the things where um you know and everybody always shares on their if you if you crochet or knit or whatever like everybody goes and gets the thing with the skeins with the little kids sticking their feet in to be like look at that this was so funny i thought i'd share it on your wall because you're my friend and you knit or you crochet <laughs> and you're like ha 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 i've seen that like 80 times <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Our friends love us so. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> do your friends do this? Do they post on your wall like all the crazy stuff or like the super complicated stuff? And they're like, this is so cute. I found on Pinterest. Thought you might could make it. And it's like really complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Can you whip this up by next Saturday? No. <laughs> I could whip it up. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um <laughs> I'm punchy today, apparently. My I washed my hair last night and I went to sleep with it wet and it's all crumply. <laughs> I'm staring at myself in the thing. Okay. Hey. Okay, yeah, under visitors post. All right, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I'm, I'm the, I thought I missed something. <laughs> yes, let your daughter model it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, at least so, love to see someone to gauge sizes. <laughs> morning. <laughs> Good morning, Lisa Mona. We're being silly. My friends do that all the time. <laughs> no, I can't even do it. Yep. And then what the cat with like the bobble hat, like it's all like the, the yellow hat that the cat has. That's one. <laughs> Shelly says, I'm working on a rectangular granny afghan. Bought the yarn at AC Moore in Norfolk while visiting Sun. Bought 15 skates in yarn, but had to buy an additional piece of luggage <laughs> to carry it home. Yeah, um, I can't see the rest of it because it, it cuts off. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I carry... My goodness, nothing is nothing is near me. Okay. I carry these bags that like basically are like super, super thin and they like squish up. And so I can put a whole bunch of those bags like all squished up together. And so they, they fit stuff in them. And um and then actually that makes it easier. Um, even if I have to get another bag to put it in, um, because um if I have to pull that out. Uh, it's easier to transfer from the luggage and then if there was something in the luggage or something that pulls or something it wouldn't damage my yarn yeah so um, and you could sort stuff too <laughs> um, it's like if you're like ooh, I could do this for this project and I could do that nah, 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 you know and so you can keep your stuff or you can keep your tools separate from your yarn that you buy um, that kind of thing so yeah a little travel tip for you um, and I actually got, at Walmart, they had this backpack that's made of that real thin material, too. And I really like that because I've started using that for some project bags. And it's great because you can crumple it up and then um, either use it as a project bag or a backup bag. And then if you end up buying something, all your purchases go in there. And then that bag is, of course, a backpack, so it becomes a personal travel, travel bag um, instead of being like some open-ended um, shopping bag. So, oh, Susan, like, like the egg gathering apron. I don't raise chickens. <laughs> I know. What are your ideas? Here, here's my question about that egg gathering apron. I'm assuming most of you guys have seen it. What would you do with the egg gathering apron? Now, what I think I would do is egg gathering apron. Yeah. Okay. So that's meant for uh, eggs that are like hard and everything. And I mean, not hard, um, soft eggs because they're fresh, but you could use it for Easter. You could use it for, um, uh, like for the kids to be like, okay, um, go get your eggs. And then they like, they put them in there instead of the basket, you know, and maybe they don't fall out because that they, um, you know, like maybe when they bend down, it maybe holds them in better. Um, or maybe there's some other like <clears throat> neat, uh, reason to have it. <laughs> maybe you make a pouch that's like super skein size and it holds three or four and it's like your little fanny pack. Maybe <laughs> Maybe, okay, now I'm being kind of silly, but maybe someone might take that idea and be like, I've got a fanny pack for my skeins made from yarn, and I put it on my on my belt, and if I'm standing in line at the movie theater, I've got, like, my toolkit, and then I'm like a power, I'm like a power worker on my stuff. <laughs> uh, the ideas are coming. I'm not sure they're good ones, but they're ideas, <laughs> nevertheless. <laughs> 
Um, hey, in Portugal. Hi, Maria. Myrna Springer. Hey, my friend. Tell your daughter hello, daughters. Hey, Ada. Oh, never do that wash hair and sleep with wet hair. <laughs> yeah, I do that all the time. Man, I got a fiber on me. Oh, bye, Carol. I missed her. Sorry, we'll, we'll catch you later. Um, yeah, space bags. You wanted, wondered about carrying space bags? I know. I just wasn't sure about how big they are, how heavy it would be. Yeah, Ziploc works. Do, do, do. Good, good, um, good, good comments, y'all. Good comments. Yeah. Saw the comment when the apron will be good for an Easter egg. Ahead. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. That seems, it seems like so other people would say that. I hadn't seen people, I haven't been watching the comments on them. I've just seen the pictures. So that was, that's just my initial thought. Um, yeah, to put yarn in when walking around. Like, what if you're like at a, uh, you know what? <laughs> I don't think anybody would do this, but if you, um, what do they call that? Scarborough Fair? If you do Scarborough Fair stuff and you walk around and like you're one of the exhibitors and you're showing like knitting or, um, or whatever, and maybe you have to walk around, maybe that's your, your end period knitting bag or crochet bag. Like you could make this little toolkit thing and then like carry it around with you. <laughs> Good morning, Susan. I see you hopped on. Um, Martha's asking if I've ever tried to soft perm my hair. Um, I had a really horrible perm when I was in fifth grade, fifth or sixth grade. It was horrid. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was really bad. Um, I had like these, I call them doo, -doo rolls. They, I had, I had bangs that were like, you know, they used to stack your bangs back like when we had feathered bangs and when it was a thing to like start perming after the whole feathered bang ear, um, I had like these five ringlets that came down cause that's how she did my hair. And, um, I didn't know how to style it. I didn't know that I could even brush it out because I, I, I guess I remembered the instructions from when I had just gotten the perm and I thought I wasn't supposed to brush it out and so I just left them like that all the time. I looked ridiculous. <laughs> I'm corny, Gala. Yes, of course. Are you surprised? Uh, Myrna says, hey from Nairobi. You're you're in Nairobi, Myrna? How did I not know that? Um, watching the sunset, um, from our balcony here, have, have get to get great dinner and watch like, I'm so glad you said hi. Tell everyone hello. Tell, I am so excited. That's really cool. Um, so she's from here, but she's visiting Nairobi. So cool. Um, anyway, hey, thanks for sharing. I see Ada and somebody else shared it. Hey, Clayton. Oh, Rose, British Columbia. Rose, your package got sent. Tell me if you got it um, to put the chocolates out for each day. Put the chocolates out. Who gets chocolates every day? I want to live there. <laughs> That's a good idea about walking around the fair. Yeah, miss me an 80s perm. Oh, God. Don't say that. Yeah, perms burn your hair. You colored your hair neon pink. You rock, man. Okay, sunsets, please murder. Oh, I'm going to paste this information that I've got, and then I'll go to the live tutorial using Bernat Softy Chunky and Color Deep Waters USL or 8 millimeter. Okay, now that I'm warmed up, I had to warm up my hands, y'all. I lost some viewers, but that's okay. They don't care. <laughs> y'all are my peeps, man, right? Um... Oh, parcel should be there in a few days. Thank you. Okay, awesome. All right, so I'm working with Bernat Softy Chunky. I'm going to set this aside so that you guys can see it. Of course, the label's all backwards, so let me just reposition that because that way you can see what it is in case someone asks because that always happens. Someone jumps in right after I start the, the thing. All right, let me... I color with purple streaks. Looks good on gray hair. Awesome. You know, I got great. Well, I just recently redid my hair. I thought, you know what? When I'm later, when I'm when I'm older, I'm 41. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that old. But like, when I get to be 90 and I got a whole gray, <laughs> I got a whole gray hair of head, gray head of hair. Um, I want to do like a big old streak of like the the red. Actually, go like really vibrant. Maybe even pink. Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> Anyway, all right. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna flip, 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 flip. Come on. Come on. All right. Readjusting. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Hair in the 80s. Do you prefer feathered or permed? Ratted or, or uh, Charlie's Angels old school style? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Have a great day, Chris. Okay, so this is the right side here. Um, this is the right side. So how I started it is I have a chain of 16 and, um, of course I started, uh, the start of the chain here and then, um, worked, um, by the time I got to like the, the sixth one, the color started changing. Now I didn't plan this. I'm just showing you kind of backwards how it ended up working. And then it started on the darker one right here in the middle. So the repeat is five plus one. And um, so you chain up 16. And then the first row is to double crochet right here. You double crochet in the 10th chain from, I mean, I'm sorry, not the 10th, why did I say that? Double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And then um, and then in the next two um, uh, uh, stitches. And then you chain one and um, uh, skip and then you double crochet in the next four chains and then um, and then repeat across. Now, um, it, it has double crochet, uh, so you have, you have the, um, this double crochet right here and then it wants you to do it in the next two stitches, so one, two, um, and then you chain one, but it really should have three here. So I actually did three, so that there's three across and then this one here. So I've got one, two, three, and then I'll skip, one, two, three, four, skip, one, two, three. And then um, on the end, then you make your double crochet, okay, and then you um, uh, uh, chain one and then turn. And then when you come back around, um, <clears throat> what you do is you're uh, single crocheting in the top of this, um, this uh, double crochet here. And then you chain to get along. I'm about to do it, but you chain for this row to, to um, grab onto later. So it has this like, just this extra chain and then it single crochets into the space, chain five, and single crochet into the space, chain five, and then you single crochet into the top of this original turning chain. So that's um, that's uh, that's how that, that uh, second row is. And then um, you, you um, do your three dub, uh, double crochets in the first and you go along in the second row. So I'm gonna show you how to do all that, but see how the color working looked up? So it looks like a big stripe. Yeah, so I ended my um, my row three. I'm gonna show you how to do that row two that I was just talking about, because the row one doesn't repeat. Um, if you wanna look at the other video um, and see how to do it, but basically it's um, chain 16, double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, and then um, you're basically setting it all up to look like what um, row three ends up looking like. So that's it. Uh, let's see. You love the color combination? Good morning, Brandy. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sorry, I was just looking at your stuff. Um, all right. Let me do this again. So um, I've got, I've chained one. I'm going to turn. And then I'm gonna single crochet into the top of this uh, double crochet. So I'm gonna go in, single crochet, and then I chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Go to this hole, single crochet. Then chain five. One, whoops, two, three, four, five. Go to that hole, that space, single crochet, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So, um, and then the last one is single crochet in the top of this turning chain. That's probably the hardest part for me because I tend to be really tight 
and the the temptation is to put it right here but really uh, and that would be the in, the top of this double crochet but you got to be in the top of this turning chain so i have to intentionally make my last stitch on the turning chain really loose because when i twist it it always seems to be really tight so there's my start of my um uh, single crochet oh, see I need a single crochet. Yeah, I did single crochet. Okay, single crochet, pull it through, and there it is. Okay, so that's it. So what it does is it sets up this row here. So you've got a single crochet on the ends, and then these five chains, and then the single crochet connecting, and then, so see how it's loose? And then we're going to um, chain three. So one, two, and then this is the last one, three, and so I'm like kind of loose with it on purpose so I can get in there, and then I'm gonna turn it and go on to row three. So row three is um, three double crochet <clears throat> into this loop here, okay? In that space, one, two, three. So now that I have the three, whoops, um, it, it works with this uh, turning chain here to look like the four, right? Okay, so then we just chain one. Okay, so chain one always hovers over this single crochet. And then you just double crochet four times. Now on a wider piece, like you could totally make a blanket from this. And on a wider piece, of course, um, most all the chains are going to have those um, four across. It's just the front... Um, and last, so it's this one and this one on the ends that change. So clearly, you know, if you're if you got more multiples, it's going to um, mostly be hey, the instructions are chain four. I mean, a double crochet four in the middle, and then chain one. So I've got my four, double crochet, chain one, and then I'm going to do three double crochet into this chain space. And I will do the fourth one, but um, that single crochet that was made before, oh gee, that single crochet that was made before, see how it like hops over? I have to do it in the top of that, not here. If I, if I do it here, then I'm going to have this little jog, okay? Do you see that? So I'm going to go into this space, so I need to yarn over, go into this space, pull it through, and I've completed that double crochet there. You see how that worked? So I'm back to where I was before. And then just to get back up to that space there, you just need a single crochet and then turn. And then, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, that was a one chain. And then you single crochet into this space here, okay? Which is just like the one that you just went into. So you'll end up double crocheting into the top of this one. So then to continue, you just chain Single crochet, chain, or just hovering over the top. Well, I keep pulling it. I need to just pull out some more yarn here. By the way, this hook is working so much better with this yarn. I like how the plastic uh, needle works with this, I mean, plastic hook works with this yarn. Okay, and then I go into that loose chain that I had created earlier, and I want a single crochet. And there it is. And then I chain up. One, two, three, and then turn double so that's if I call that one that's my first double crochet this would be two three four chain one double crochet one two Three, 
four. Chain one, double crochet. Two, three, and then we're going to chain, I mean, I'm sorry, we're going to double crochet into this last part here. This was that old single crochet. And there you have it. So that's the end of that row. So we just did these, these four rows here. It, it looks like one row, but of course this is row two, and then this is row three. So that's it. So let's see, what are your, what are your questions? Do y'all want me to show you that really slowly? <clears throat> oh yeah, let me post in the comments again, the information. What, I have a low battery? Well, that's not good. Okay, it should be posted again now. You love this pattern? Um, yeah, it's and it's soft. It feels good. Um, I actually kind of want to make a blanket. I would be really airy, but I kind of want to make a little soft um, blanket out of it. Anyway, so see how the striping, it, it's working up really nice in the color striping. Cool, right? So I can only imagine that it would continue repeating like that, uh, that coloring there like that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that stitch. Again, that's the Bernat Softy Chunky. This is a US 11 hook, uh, eight millimeter. And uh, yeah, you wanna do a blanket? April, if you make this blanket, oh my goodness, will you tag me on it? Um, if you put it up on my page, that'd be awesome. I'd love to share it. Um, what do you think we should call this, you guys? If I make this scarf, what do you wanna call it? Tabulate your votes. I don't know. I don't really want to call it quads in a loop. I kind of want to like give it in its own name. It's so cute. It really is soft. I mean, I'm like, man, I like how this is working out. I mean, it, it, you know, it's holy. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Not holy. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's kind of an update on a granny, right? You like that? Kristen's ladder. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of is wavy-ish, I guess. It, it really has like these very straight lines though. Like you can really see this line. And then I like how when the double crochet, I mean the single crochet kind of goes over, you see these little, you know, grips here. It's kind of cool, comfy waters, waves. <sighs> I don't know, we'll, we'll think of it. It's cool, it's cool. Um, do a whole tutorial. Uh, if you missed it, yeah. Um, let me see. Let me grab the, um, let me grab this yarn here. See if I have a moment to do that. I was having, this yarn that's to the side here that you're not seeing, um, was really, um, causing me problems. For some reason, it got really knotted. So, what I did is, um, oh, gee. Trying to find the end of it. Never mind. I'm gonna have to get a whole different skein here. Okay. Okay, here is one in the softy chunky. This one is emerald. This is row one. Chain 16. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Double crochet in the four chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. And then um, double crochet 
in the next chain that makes you three double crochet in the next chain which is four and then you want to uh, chain one skip a chain and then double crochet into the next chain one Next chain next chain okay and uh, chain one I'm um, yeah chain one and then you're going to skip and then double crochet in the next chain. So you're chaining in between the sets of four with that first turning chain counting as the first double crochet. Double crochet. We're just double crocheting in all of them, uh, all of the chains across, you're just skipping uh, after completing four. And so this last one, I'm going to double crochet. I'll do a better tutorial on YouTube, so that will um, that will that will be slower and purposeful, and not when I'm live. I get a little like goofy when I'm doing the live tutorial stuff, recording it on Facebook. So, um, <clears throat> so after I finish that going across, I just chain one. Okay. And then flip. So yeah, that's the first, that's just the setup row. So it's pretty standard. And then um, you're gonna go into um, single crochet into top of this double crochet that you just did. Okay. And then you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. My yarn's caught on the floor. And then single crochet in this space here. Okay, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to uh, single crochet in this last um, turning chain here. Okay, and then that gets us through that row. So what that did is it just grabbed on to these open stitches and then went over. We're just jumping with chains, grabbing on with a single crochet, jump it, single crochet, jump it and then single crochet in the top of this turning chain. And then this, the, that's, so that's the second row. You don't ever do this first row again. So the second row and the third get repeated. So then once I'm done with that, I need to um, crochet up three. And you remember the three because once I've done a small row, then I do a big row. So we wanna jump up by going three. One, two, three. Be intentional about that last one so it didn't get too tight. And then we're just going to add in three more double crochet across here because the turning chain counts as one. So this would be two double crochet already. Three, four. Okay, chain one that jumps across that single crochet, double crochet four times in this five chain space. Is this better this week, Robin? I'm, very, I'm not really catching your um, comments. I think I'm doing better by not trying to read the comments when I'm uh, doing this live. Okay, so I've got three double crochet. I'm on the fourth one. Then I'll chain one, then I'll do the double crochets again. 
I'm going to do three in the chain space here, okay? So you have to remember that you want to get three in the chain on the very end, and then um, you're going to jump into that last single crochet um, spot here, or else it's going to be jogged on the side. You want it to be nice and lined up and not have like a severe jog like that, or else you'll slowly decrease. Uh, so we're going to double crochet into this space right there. Okay, and then just chain one because we're going to a small row, flip it over, single crochet, so think single row, single crochet into that first spa uh, double crochet there. Then you're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet. Okay, jump that space, one, two, three, four, five, jump it with that single crochet, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then go into that turning chain. Yeah, see what I mean? Okay. All right. So that makes that done. So you would stop on a row three, not a row two. See how this is like this? Now, if you wanted to, you could, um, if you wanted to do a cowl that had three buttons, this would be a cool feature. Um, you could get you some really oversized buttons. Um, in fact, maybe I should make this into a cowl with buttons. What do y'all think? What do you think? Maybe if I got like some giant buttons. Um, anyway, so you could get giant buttons and sew them on um, one end here. And then this could be your little buttonhole. Oh, I like that. Do y'all like that? Let's do that. This could be a one skein deal. Yeah. So the new chain. One, two, three. Turn. Yeah. Y'all like that? Uh, my mind just went in a bad spot there, so I'm going to not comment. <laughs> Sorry. Um, make it wider for the cowl. Let's see. Um, let me get my handy-dandy measuring tool. Where is my... There we go. Let's see how it size this is. All right, so I'm going to move this one aside. The sample the samples going over here. But you can see how it looks in the solid. And here's the one that I did last week. See that color? See how these are working up? These are all uh, Bernat Softy Chunky. This is six inches, but it's a springy cowl. It's not meant to be like warm, you know? Should I do the cowl in this color? Or should I do it in, I should probably do it in that color, huh? What do you think? <laughs> I want to do it in this one, though. I don't care what the color is. It's really cool. It's a cool stripe, right? I love the stripe. So neat. Okay. Well, I want to do it. Okay, let me see if I've got some buttons while I'm on the... I almost said while I'm on the phone with you. Because technically, technically I am on the phone with you. Um, let's see if I've got buttons to work here. Oh, goodness. That's not a good button stash. Oh, my gosh. Y'all want to see some of my buttons? They're hilarious. Y'all want to see some buttons? Look at these. These are pure 80s. Y'all were, we were talking about 80s earlier. Look at these. Those are those are total 80s buttons. I should sell these on Etsy because people would freak. Look at that. They're plastic. 
they're not they're not real gold or anything i separated them all because they looked like i was like these might look cool in one of my ne my necklaces this is not all my buttons this is just one of the one of the things okay uh deep waters cowl oh i like that um i'm trying to find my other oh good gracious look at those see those 80s these were given to me by my mother-in-law in the containers i don't even want to open all of them look at that isn't that crazy i feel like um austin power in um goldfinger i like gold these won't work but look at all those there's more i'm trying to find my regular buttons y'all <clears throat> this is kind of fun. These are all. <laughs> Why am I finding metal buttons? Metal pla metal looking plastic buttons. This is hilarious. Look at those. I wish that that was metal, but it's not. Look at that. Do y'all feel like you're shopping in my stash right now? I kind of feel like I am. Look at these toggles. The toggles would be cool if I had them bigger. Isn't that neat? Okay. Squirrel moment. Seriously, trying to find these buttons that I love. Oh, you know what? I think I know where they are, but I have to get up to get them. Check that out. Definitely not appropriate for this cowl, but look how big. This would be the right size. See, that would be the right size, but not the right button. These are my grandmother's. Well, not all of them. Some of these. Oh, I have her button jar somewhere. You'll notice my ring is gone. I have a diamond missing, and so it's out being fixed. Oh, here's another funky one. If anybody wants these buttons, let me know. <laughs> I really should put them on Etsy. Look at all these heart buttons. Um, I had, oh no, not the gumdrop buttons. Uh, I'm telling y'all, I have so many buttons, it's crazy. They're coming out my ears, but I'm not finding the right button. Ooh, I found my grandmother's. Let's see what she's got in this stash. Ooh. Are there any gems? No. Anyway. Is it kind of fun to go through these, or is it just ridiculous that I'm doing this? <laughs> I think she had more buttons than this, but nevertheless, this is what I'm finding at the moment while y'all are on the, on the broadcast. You, you would have me to help me restash, <laughs> destash my buttons. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, man, where are we? Have my buttons gone? Oh, where, oh, where can they be? I had a perfect button for this here cowl. Oh, where, oh, where can it be? I'm trying to put my buttons away. Did y'all miss my song at the beginning? My uh, Ode to Oklahoma song? Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Every, my crochet is going my way. Now, how did I, some way, somehow, I'll fit these back in here today. 
I'm on the phone, man, with you guys, and I don't have buttons to show for it. Okay. I, I feel like I'm on a mission. Like, I want to have them on here with you. <laughs> where, oh, where have my buttons gone? Where are they? Um, do y'all want me to get up and find them? Is this entertaining? It's like I think I think that they're in this little cabinet back here. Oh, here's some. These were my great grandmother's. Y'all can look at that while I. And they were in her medicine thing. Oh, I think I found my buttons. Ah, hold on. Watch them not be the right size. So. This is my great grandmother. It's a prescription bottle. I think that, yeah, this is a prescription bottle from Arkansas. <laughs> I've never lived in Arkansas. These are my grandmother, uh, my other grandmother, her, so her daughter in law. And I guess she had them. Wow, this one broke apart. It must be um, ivory or something or bone. Anyway. <laughs> Her prescription bottle. Isn't that the craziest? All right, here we go. That's a cute button. Look at these. If these were bigger and the right color, these would be good. Let's see, look. Isn't that fun? I'm always entertaining. <laughs> uh, look, look at this one I found. And then neat. That's a button. And then I've got these bone buttons, but I'm thinking these are too. You like the butterfly? I know, and it's the right color too. Oh gee, I can't get it out. I got it out while ago. You saw that. Oh, good gravy. Okay, it's the right color. <laughs> I can't even get it out now. <laughs> um. So this um. This button size is what I was looking for. See that? Now I have two that kind of can go next to it or even like this orange. You know? Um, but they're not really big enough. What do we think? So see how th this would be appropriately sized? So this would go around it like that, like nicely, because it would go through it like that. But I'm thinking that these would be too small because it would pop off easy, right? So I need to go to the store, I mean, get, unless I just did one, which I don't really think that enclosure is okay, unless I, or like if I did one at the top or something, but I'm think I need to get, I need to get some more of these if I don't have one in another spot because it, where it could be is it could be with my um, my jewelry supplies because this came from a bag of buttons from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're plastic though. I'd rather have wooden. Here's my wooden ones. be okay look at these aren't these fun so I got them with all these stars and I like them because they're reversible like you don't have to use that side I got them from these lady ladies who had sold me that um, corn fiber which I love so much they're awesome the ladies Let me put this away. What are your thoughts? Do you like this side or this side?
light side, dark side. <laughs> All right, let's do this way. Let's pretend. Let's pretend this cowl is for a baby. <laughs> oh, I need to do another row. Let me do another row here because this is kind of, I need, I need that extra part. Um, let's see, chain one, single crochet. I have no idea how much battery I have left. I probably should plug in my, um, what time is it? I'm coming up on an hour. Um, I should probably plug in my um, battery back up. One, two, three, oh shoot. Four, five, single crochet. One. Did I do too many? Single crochet. Ah, stop. Y'all, just what I need, another another pattern, another thing to not finish for you guys. Because, like, I get inspired by you, and then, and then and then I, like, procrastinate on the other thing I'm meant to be doing. <laughs> okay, let me pull that out so I'm not in the way of myself. Okay, now we've got it. Okay, so this would be the end that um, gets the, um, gets the buttons. Okay. And then this would connect over it. So it would look like that. These buttons are probably the right size. Let me put the light one in the middle. Okay, that's dark. Dark, if, okay, what we'll do is if you like the dark, hit the love button. And if you like the light, hit the light button, uh, the like. So like for light and love for dark. Here's the light. I'll move my hand out of the shadow. That's the light. So hit like for light and hit love for dark. <laughs> you know what? I see your profile when you hit it. So if you're hitting love a whole bunch of times. <laughs> okay, I didn't count on that. Okay, right, dark or light <laughs> in the comments below. <laughs> I see someone's like that just keeps hitting it. And I'm like, who are you doing? Who's doing that? That's like 20 votes. <laughs> yeah, I see you. Light, 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 dark, light. <laughs> Let's do light. I'm thinking light must be, yeah, because, well, and that's more springy anyway, and it has the flowers, right? That was, that was really fun. I'm thinking I put this... Yeah. Y'all are hysterical. Actually, now that I can, now I can do that. And I can put that goofy one in the middle, right? Because it's kind of darkish. Who am I kidding? I got to make this long, well, bigger cowl first. So, you like that? Yay! The dark looks better for fall and the light looks better for spring. Well, I get, I suppose you could like sew it on every year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how you could make it a reversible button. I, I'm not, um, ooh. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? Who's crying? Oh, <laughs> she's crying because her vote didn't count. Okay. Actually, check these out. This is not a plug for company because I can't, oh, Yoth Yarn had it, but they said they represent it that uh, this is not actually their product. 
I got these at the Yoth Yarn booth, Y-O-T-H. They're a newish company. And they're these buttons. They're expensive, um, but they're reusable. And you could probably make them. I'm sure you could. Just go to the hardware store. Okay, so you get like this little flat screw here. I say flat screw because it's one that doesn't have a little pointy thing. It's just a flat head. It's a flat head screw with a little flat deal here. And then it has a receiver. I don't know the hardware term for this. I'm sorry. But it's just a hole that receives the screw. And then it has these leather washers on them. And you can get them like bigger than this. They come in different sizes. And so then you, um, you basically do this like... You feed it through like this. And then that's your button. And then there you go. So that's how that button works. Isn't that neat? I mean, it's too dark for this one. But isn't that a neat concept? I don't know what they're called. I, I forget. I know I know that they said it at the thing. But what do y'all think about that? Would work for steampunk? Yeah. And but the neat part about that is if you had a reversible item, you could put one color disc on one side and then a different color on the other side. But the nice part also is you don't have to sew and it's removable. So what, what's nice about these um, also is like if I want to use it for a shawl, but like my shawl pin like always falls, uh, this is great because you can even have it hidden. Like it doesn't, it could be in, in like in a fold of a shawl and uh, basically it'll just keep it staying on. Let's say you're shopping and you've got your shawl on, like nobody wants their shawl to keep falling, right? So you can pin it into place. And um, have you ever lost a shawl pin? Like it just fell out. Um, this wouldn't fall out, so you wouldn't hurt, worry about like losing something expensive. Even though this is expensive, because they made it with leather, um, and because it's come secondhand, you didn't make it yourself. But um, even though it's expensive, it'd be worth it because you would continue. Um, uh, yeah. By the way, this one's supposed to be black, and this is supposed to be um, like the lighter color. I think I got yeah, I got one of each because they look they look different to me anyway yeah it's a cool concept but you can get them like really big like they had different sizes so this was just a smallish one anyway hey thanks for joining me today i'm so glad you did thanks for choosing that light one um i'm thinking someone said deep waters cowl i think that's a pretty good that's a pretty good uh name there and everybody like deep waters cowl hit the love button if you if you enjoy the deep waters cowl with the light uh, buttons. Everybody's going to ask me where to get these buttons and I'm going to be like, hmm, see the, the, uh, <laughs> the ladies at that shop might be, I'll be recommending their Facebook page. I don't know if they'll know what to do with themselves. Um, <laughs> if people like it. So anyway, oh, I didn't even scroll. Today was fun. I'm so glad Ellie. Glad you guys had fun. Um, yay. The love button. Woohoo. I'm excited. I'm happy. Let me readjust so I can come up and say goodbye with a big smile and a hug. And they're not for my grandma, though. Like, talking about my grandma. Oh, that's bright. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're not for my grandma. Those are from Fiber Ladies? No, no, no. That's not them. A Twist in Time. If you go to a Twist in Time Facebook page, um, it's a fiber place out of Missouri, and they have these buttons. They always have them when I see them at DFW Fiber Fest. So, um, oh, Debbie, you got your yarn. Yay, awesome. I'm so glad. Uh, anyway, so I'm so glad you guys joined me today. Um, it was fun, totally different. Anyway, um, send love to the ladies. Tell them Kristen a good knit kisses sent you for the buttons. And uh, anyway, <laughs> oh, what yarn is it? Um, this yarn is um, Bernat Softy Chunky. And it's color Deep Waters. It's color 29632. So it's a super bulky six. And um, there you go. That's what it looks like. So when you're looking. So it's this color changing yarn. And you can, of course, you can get Softy Chunky in a solid. And then they have like a tweed. Oh, I just dropped the label. 
Uh, anyway, <laughs> so, all right, you guys have a great day, and I've got a video coming out on the loom tomorrow. Um, I won't be broadcasting tomorrow, but I'll see you Monday. On Tuesday, I want to let you know that there is a crochet uh, um, deal going on on the Annie's page um, for Annie's Attic, Annie's Catalog on their Facebook page. I'll be on live with Beth Ham unless anything changes. 11.30 Central Standard Time Tuesday. Um, then uh, just join us, and we'll be talking and showing you the book. We'll be talking about it. I'll be doing a little live demo on that loom, uh, the flower loom uh, weaving. And then um, Beth will be talking about the crochet aspect of it. So anyway. I uh, hope to see you guys next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a great day and happy crochet. Bye, everyone.